Put your hands together for the Lord. Please let's listen to the following Faith Tabernacle announcement. Number one, praise the Lord. Our annual 21 days fasting and prayer kicks off tomorrow, Monday, 4th January to Sunday, 24th January 2020. Consequently, we shall be meeting daily, both in Canaan land and in all our zonal centers to break our fast with the communion every evening from Monday to Friday, time 6 p.m. Expect diverse visitation that will establish the commencement of your turnaround era. Number two, covenant hour of prayer holds tomorrow, Monday to Saturday, time 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. Number three, praise the Lord. All our intercessory prayer guidelines such as personal spiritual awakening, supernatural church growth, church membership, new converts retention towards fruitful out outreaches release of life transforming word vengeance towards continuous church growth etc are to be used during this prayer and fasting session they are also available on the church website for download number four praise the lord 2021 turnaround era car and door stickers are available Members can pick required numbers of copies from the Dominion bookstores around the tabernacle. Number five, Winners Satellite Fellowship, our house-to-house -house fellowship, holds this Saturday at our WSF centers. However, WSF all through the 21 days prayer and fasting shall be intercessory prayer sessions. Time, 5 to 6 p.m. Note that we are all expected to break our fast in our respective homes after the fellowship. Number six, praise the Lord. Next Sunday at Faith Tabernacle, remember we are in the session of our annual prayer and fasting for the year. Whatever you say enough is enough to shall be established. Come expecting definite turnaround encounters with the word and prophetic blessing, service schedule is as usual. Time 6, 7.55, 9.50, and 11.45. Jesus is Lord. Put those wonderful hands together for Jesus. He's worthy. Hallelujah. In this second service this morning, it is testimony time. Please give Jesus a big, big hand of praise. Now let's listen to the following documented testimonies and be blessed. Number one, miracle job. I joined this commission on the 23rd of March 2003 and gave my life to Christ that same day. I rededicated my life on the 18th of September 2016. Serving God Almighty pays and it pays the most. I've been believing God for a change of job for some months now. In the course of the 21 days of prayer and fasting, I decided to engage myself with kingdom investment prayers and supplications and forgot about my own challenges. Then Bishop prophetically declared that some of you will be called upon for a job before the first quarter is over. And indeed, God Almighty confirmed his word with signs and wonders in my life. That hand can be big for Jesus. Before the end of the fast, I got a job offer. Now I have resumed officially. Celebrate Jesus some more. God Almighty was seriously working on my own heart desires. According to Matthew 6, 33, it works. I've come back to return all the glory, honor, and adoration to God Almighty alone. Secondly, I truly appreciate God for using his servant to empower me into another dimension of God's glory. I am indeed a changed person. My status has indeed changed. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is Lord. 
and the testifier is Olua Gwemiga A. Celebrate Jesus some more this morning. Number two, supernatural healing of ovarian cyst. Some months ago, I had pains in my lower abdomen and back. During the 21 days of prayer and fasting, I went to the hospital and I was diagnosed with ovarian cyst of 20% magnitude. The doctors advised that I go for a scan, but I chose not to be distracted. Rather, I participated in the fasting and prayer fully. In one of the evening services, the bishop referred to the blood of Jesus as the white blood capsules that we squeeze out every disorder in our system and deliver us whole. I believed it. Also, on January 27th, during the impartation service, the bishop said, our Lazarus must rise up. In the early hours of January 28th, I rushed to the toilet and realized that God had performed a surgery. A tick. Give Jesus a big hand. A thick, dark lump with large quantity of blood came out of my system. And that was the end of ovarian cyst. I thank God. And the testifier is Ungozi P. Someone expecting a breakthrough testimony. Give Jesus a big, big hand of praise this morning. It's my privilege this morning to welcome every one of us worshiping in the faith tabernacle for the first time on a Sunday morning. Wherever you are seated, if today is your first Sunday in the faith tabernacle, please stand to your feet and remain standing while the church gives Jesus the biggest hand of praise for this massive harvest, this second service. Our officials close to you shall place in your hand a welcome pack together with the sleep you shall be required to feel in the course of this welcome ensure you get your own welcome package and kindly take your seat commence feeling the sleep in the course of this welcome on behalf of jesus christ the head of the church and on behalf of his servant the apostle over this commission bishop david Oedipo, i'd like to welcome you to church today this is one of god's appointed cities of refuge on the earth today and that means that every siege that followed your life and destiny till today shall be turned to a testimony your amen can turn things around. Amen. But the Bible reveals that the company one keeps determines what accompanies him. It is written, they that walk with the wise shall be wise, and the company of fools shall be greatly destroyed. Lot walked with Abraham, the blessed of God. And soon as the blessings of God upon the life of Abraham began reflecting in the life of Lot, so much so that the land could not contain both of them at the same time. You have joined the company of winners today. You shall never lose in the battles of life again. You have come to the company of the blessed. The blessings of God that makes rich and has no sorrow becomes your lot from today. This is a breakthrough company. Never again shall you record a breakdown in life. But from scriptures to make the most of your appointed place, it is written that you should be planted therein and not just be a passersby. The Bible says they that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. My charge to you, therefore, is that you stay planted upon this mountain, connecting your faith with the word of God proceeding from this mountain as teachings, instructions, and prophetic directions. And as you keep putting God's word to work, it will keep working wonders in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like to request all our first-timers to stand one more time for prayers and for blessings. Suspend filling your sleeps and stand right now for prayers and for blessings. Please bow your head as you stand our father in the name of jesus we want to thank you for causing this multitude to approach your glorious presence today where there is fullness of joy and pleasures forever let your word of blessing come through to them in the name of jesus christ whatever they left before coming as concerns are declared turned into testimonies we pray father for any one of them here to encounter christ by word of salvation make today their day of genuine salvation we thank you one more time for confirming your blessings upon their lives in jesus awesome name we have prayed
Please take your seat, complete your sleeps, and hand them over to the officials close to you. One more time, you are welcome. God bless you. Let's give Jesus the biggest hand of praise. In this service, it is offering time.